Good morning and welcome back to the channel. In the last video I explained to you the importance of best practices in SAP and also that there are different documentation available for every business process that can be downloaded and used by the project team, the business or the consultants to make the project easier. Today I'm going to show you how you can find the documentation related to every business process and how you can download them to use them in your project. To start displaying the documents available for SAP Best Practice, go to the website rapid.sap.com. Now, this website will ask you to log in using your uh, SID. The SID is something you get when you join a consultancy company, when you pass an exam. And as I mentioned, this website is mainly intended for the project team working on SAP projects. So in order to use these resources, you must use your SID. Now I'm going to click on login and I'm going to log in using my SID. Now this website has a lot of documents and it has a lot of uses. It is very useful. Personally, I don't know all of the uses available on this website because there are things intended for technical consultants, others for functional consultants. What I'm going to go to do today is to raise your awareness and to give you a quick introduction on how you can start exploring this website. The rest is up to you. So I'm not going to be able to cover everything in this website, it's huge, but I'm just going to give you a quick idea on what's available and how you can use it. Now, um, for me, for example, when I go here, I usually go to SAP S4 HANA, because this is what I work on. And then one, once you go there, you have on-premise, cloud, integration, migration, automation, industries different uh, components, different documentation. For me, I usually go to on-premise. And then as you see, this is the USA SAP S4HANA 1909 on-premise docu on documentation. You can choose a country from here. And if your country has different localization documents available, it depends on what SAP made available for every country then you will find different uh, documents available. Now, for example, if you go to South Africa, if you go to any uh, country, you'll find the language is English. But for some countries, you can also find different languages. You can go ahead and check for your country. Now, if you check here, let's go back to USA, or maybe Germany, Germany SAP. So this is for Germany. Germany, you have English and you have Dutch. So I'm going to keep it as English. And then when you go down, you start with, first of all, you have solution information, software requirements. You can go ahead and check this. It is very interesting, very interesting information. Now, when you go down, you have the solution scope. You have all the modules in SAP. So you have finance, human resources, manufacturing, sourcing. So if I go to finance, for example, I have the different components. I can go to for example, accounting, and then let's start with asset under construction, for example, here. When you go to the, pro to the process, you can see you have, first of all, you have the description of the process, then you have the overview, and this is the important part for me. You have the, the, the documents. So the, so the documents available for the asset under construction process, which has a code, which is BFH, we have a process flow, we have a test script, and we have a process flow that you can edit in the uh, extension of BPMN. Now, if I open any of them, let's start by example by the test script. So it has been downloaded. If I open it, come on. Yes, here it is. So this is the standard SAP test script template applied for the asset under construction process. You can edit the template as you want, save it, share it with your project. This is extremely useful. Usually when we go into a project, this is the uh, one of the um, activities that the consultant has to do is to prepare the test scripts. And this is very, very time consuming if you don't have the template and if you don't have a ready document like this. Editing this document is very easy. So. This is already the standard process. Usually you can use it as is, but in case you want to edit the document, you can easily add anything you want. Now, if you go to the index, you see it has everything. It has even the prerequisites of testing. 
So this is actually something you check before you start testing to be sure that testing will be smooth and successful. So not only the test scripts, but it also has the uh, prerequisites. Master data needed, then you have pre preliminary steps, validate as accounting, then you go into the different steps for testing. So you have overview. For example, we have create asset post acquisition. These are the different steps inside the process. Now, if you go to any of them, you will find that it is extremely detailed. So you have login, how you can log in. Then you have what trans, what uh, application tile or what transaction uh, code to use. Then you have what are the what are the data inputs needed to do the testing. This is it. I mean, you will never need anything more than this. So this is this why this is very useful. Now, if I go back to the Explorer again, here, you also have process flows. And this is also very useful. You can use it in uh, any documentation to explain the process to the customer, or we put it in the beginning of any document related to the process. So if anyone wants to understand what this process about, is about, he can easily understand this by looking at the process flow. So the process flow is very detailed. It, say, it says that for the est under construction, we have an est accountant who will do create asset, then post acquisition, then define distribution, then execute settlement for AUC. Now for uh, for a user, for an SAP user, or for an SAP consultant, once you look into this, you understand what are the processes and the steps you need to understand. So for example, for, for me as a, as a consultant, if this is the first time I see this process, then I know that I have to start by creating an asset, then I will do something that is called post acquisition without purchase order. If I, if I don't know what this is, I can easily go and check on the internet to find what are the steps that I need to do. But at least you have a guidance on where to start and where to end to finish the process. So this is also the uh, another very useful document. You can also download it in BBMN and you can edit it. And in some other processes, you can also find configuration document. So for technical items, you can find detailed configuration documents explaining to the SAP consultant how to configure an item step by step which is very useful now let me give you an example on this i'm sure there is one here let's see let's go back okay if i go to migration for example all the items in migration have configuration documents so if i go to migration of activity types i have this script and here I have a configuration guide. So this is explaining how to do the IDOC type creation, message type, IDOC processing, very technical, very uh, complicated items. If you go to the configuration guide, it is explained step by step how to execute, how to configure this process. So if you check the index, we have, for example, setting up application link enabling, creating IDOC configuration file. Let's go here. So it's, it's, it starts by explaining technical items, then it goes to which transaction, which screen to use in SAP, and what exactly to do. Extremely useful. Now, if we go back, there are also other things that you have to see. So if we go back to home, go back to SAP S4HANA again, and go to on-premise, here. Now I'm back to the main page for SAP S4HANA on-premise 1909. If you go after, so we started by the solution scope items. So you have finance, human resources, and we check the different documents available. And then you also have accelerators. Very useful, very important. If you are in a project, then please take 15 minutes of your time. Go and check this list and see what documents you can use. This can save you a lot of time and it can make you avoid a lot of mistakes. For example, one of the very simple documents available here, you have the forms. This is a list of all the forms that should be generated from SAP in your project. Of course, this list, you can add other forms or you can remove some, but this is always a requirement from us. We always have a requirement that we need a list of all the outputs, all the output documents or the forms that need to be printed from SAP. For example, let me zoom in. For example, the inquiry, the quotation, delivery note, credit memo, the billing document. So every one of these documents, SAP is giving you the output type, application object, the new output type, the 
output management, where you use the SAP is for HANA. These are all the details you need in order to go and find the template and find where you should assign the company specific form that you have. For example, if we talk about billing documents, billing documents are different from every company. Every customer will give you a template for his billing document that he needs to print and give to the customer. It has the items he is selling, the total value, the taxes, the company logo, some text. This is different from every company. And for every company, for every project, you have to go and create a form and assign it here. So this is very useful. Why? Because if you forget one of these forms in the project preparation, and then we don't configure it, and then after go live, your customer is asking you to print a specific document from the system. When you try to print it, it, it will either not be printed, it will give you an error, or it will print a standard SAP output document, which is not nice. It doesn't look nice, it, it, you, it cannot be used because the standard SAP templates are guidance. They are not the ones that should be used by the customer. So this is one very simple, very important document that you can find in uh, rapid.sap. Now let's go back to the website. And also you can find here other documents that I am sure you'll find useful. So this is it for me. Now from your side, I want you guys to log into this website explore the different documents you find and share with us uh, how you find this website useful. If you are already using this website, then also please share with, uh, with us uh, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, share with everyone how you find the website useful and uh, how we can all use it to make our projects easier. Now, this is it for me for today. Don't forget to like the video, leave me your comments, subscribe, share the video with everyone interact with me guys so i continue making these videos and hopefully i will see you again in another video next week uh, thank you for watching and i will see you again